Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location facing, well, facing an, an interesting place, that's for sure. I mean, whatever used to be here definitely is, uh, you know, we can see what looks like to be a big pile of trash and uh, such things, but uh, we're in a place, you know, it's got a nice road, cars parked here, and then we got what are really nice uh, apartments or homes or, well, I guess, I don't know, I mean, they're not connected, so I guess you're not really, well, you know, they might be apartments, they're not, I'm not sure if they're really connected, they might just be identical looking homes side by side, but they even got a wall around them and a gate and a garage and all sorts of stuff going on right there, these are really nice places here, I don't know if anyone lives in them, but, uh, you know, they're, they're fairly new, so I guess uh, now is the time to try and figure out where in the world we are, and that's um, that's pretty tricky. I mean, I guess everyone who lives here has walls around their house, which is interesting. I guess uh, maybe that's something that's necessary in this place, this part of the world. So where are we? Well, you know, based on the architecture and stuff like that, I'm guessing we're probably somewhere in the Middle East. Where in the Middle East is a real good question. I don't really know. We're going to go with Syria on this one. We're going to go, yeah, we're going to go with Syria. Um, have we been to Syria? Oh, yeah, Syria. We're going to go with uh, sort of near and around Damascus. Uh, so we're going to go Damascus is there. We're going to go like right around here. Make the guess. And the answer, Saudi Arabia. We're actually in and uh, around Jeddah. Oh, very, very cool indeed. Look at that. We're in and around Jeddah. Uh, they go big long roads over here. And uh, we just find ourselves in this neighborhood Right there, there you go. Very, very cool. I'm hopefully some of you guys have guessed uh, Saudi Arabia, and uh, hopefully some of you guys got closer than I did, but uh, who knows? Maybe I'm the one who got closest this time, but uh, I, if there are some guesses, I kind of doubt that uh, mine is the best. So 2095, but not bad. Now on to today's daily challenge. Alrighty, here we are in today's daily challenge location. As you can see, it's a very, very cool panorama of a very beautiful place. I mean, you know, I'm a sucker for by the water places, but this isn't exactly a beach like we normally see. Actually, this is a little bit more cool. There's like a little bridge over here, big tour bus. Obviously, lots of tourists come to this place. Sure, there is a beach, but I mean, just check out all these really nice islands we've got here. Oh, man, lots of cool stuff. And right over here in the corner, we got a dog laying down. Now, you might notice there's something to the left and to the right of the starting, well, the, the frame where I started this. Well, this section uh, that I'm not showing you the reason for that is there's some writing there which does give me an advantage in knowing exactly where we are but uh, I'm not going to show you guys that in case it says some sensitive information you guys can uh, you know check it out and uh, maybe you guys can you know google it or something I, I have no idea so I'm going to avoid that although there are some other clues to the location of this to be honest I could still get it quite wrong well I don't think I can get it like super wrong, but I could definitely still get the country wrong on this one uh, myself, which is a clue in and of itself, me having just said that. But anyways, enough talk about this. This is the daily challenge, which means it is a challenge uh, that I set to you guys. Tell me where in the world do you think this awesome looking place is? Look at this creamy blue water. Wow, it is absolutely beautiful. So where in the world do you think we can find this place? Put it down in the comment section below and tell me where in the world do you think this really cool place is located. Again, I'm trying to go not that much to the right. About these garbages where I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop like right around here. Yeah, right there. There you go. That's where I'm going to stop uh, moving to the right there just because I don't want to show you guys uh, that right. Writing, like I said, I'll show it to you guys tomorrow when it comes time for me to make a guess as to where I think it is, much like in the section you just saw. Now, I don't know how right or wrong I'm going to be, but um, I, again, I, I did say I think I'm going to get at least pretty close, and I do think I'll get the country right, although you never know. I might get it terribly wrong. This place is super awesome. Tell me where in the world you think it is, and in tomorrow's videos, a comment section, I will announce the winner. So... Where in the world do you think this really cool place can be found? Okie dokie, here we are in the main section of today's video. And today it is a viewer challenge, of course, it always is. Today is won by the one, the only, everyone's good friend, Indrek Pabo. Thank you so much for this challenge. This one has got a sweet theme, and that theme happens to be Newcastle. That's right, what does that mean? Are we going to be near Newcastle? Which, uh, Newcastle... 
Okay, hold on, let me try, okay, well, first of all, let me get the UK, just to insight, you know, where, where in the UK do I think Newcastle is? It's like right there? Let's zoom in. No. Where is it? Is it somewhere? Uh, am I completely wrong? Is it not in the UK? That'd be something, isn't it? Somewhere around here, isn't it? Do it, well, I, first of all, I don't know where it is, so I guess we're going to, um, we're going to find out, uh, together. Uh, won't we? Uh, I guess maybe we will, if it's in the UK at all, which, hell, it might not be. I might just be a big old ding-dong. So yeah, there's a theme on this one, which is super sweet. Anyways, um, other than, uh, the theme, which is Newcastle, which I don't know in what sort of context, um, that, uh, that needs to be taken to challenge. You guys can go create your own custom challenges at geosetter.com, G-E-O-S-E-T-T-R.com. Create your own custom challenges. Send them to me using the YouTube inbox system or uh, putting them as a comment in one of the videos. I will, of course, love to do them. And, uh, you know, this is all viewer challenges, so I definitely need them all the time. If you guys any get, if you guys have got any hot ideas, I know some of you guys have, like, three of them that you've already sent to me. Don't be scared to even send more. I'm fine with doing... Um, like four or five. I know that Alun Gazwa, you've got like three that I've uh, yet to do. So I'm fine with doing like three or four from the exact same person, even in a row, maybe. So thank you so much, Indrik Pabo, for this one. And uh, let's get to it. Of course, if you guys want to find a link to this challenge, do it yourself before you watch me. You can find uh, that down in the description below. So let's full screen this pup. Find out where it is. Okay. Here we are. Newcastle. Which I believe is in the UK, but at this rate, hell, it might be in Australia. Um, which is very nice. Doesn't quite look like Australia, I've, I've got to admit, so I'm happy to see that. It's by the ocean, which is something new. Is it near, like, uh, Leeds? Also, I don't really know where Leeds is. It, it, this is this is a, a big... This is a... You know, this is, this is all an experience of me finding out. Leeds is up here. Fuck, I don't know where Leeds is. Uh, apparently, I'm very terrible at my UK geography. Oh, boy. I was thinking Lee's was down here for whatever reason. Wow. I really need to figure stuff out, don't I? All right. So, let's go look at, uh, like, license plates and stuff. And I'm sort of realizing Newcastle. The fuck is... All right. Well, this doesn't look like it's in the UK at all. How is it? I still, I still hold that I believe Newcastle to be in the UK. Oh my god! If it's not though, am I gonna have to scrap this whole episode? Because I've been saying a bunch of nonsense for the last little while, right? Oh, here it is. It's all the way up here. So where Newcastle is? My god, it's much further north than I ever thought. Okay. Well, the thing is, this isn't in the UK. So we've got that to think about. This is. Well, my first thought when I kind of saw this was Australia, which it might be. Maybe it's a place called Newcastle in Australia. Anyways, the Newcastle I was thinking of is this one up here, right? Is it? Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Uh, but then maybe there's a lot of places called Newcastle. I really think this is definitely... This isn't in the UK. This is not. People are driving on the left, which is fine, but we would expect that. NCC, that is... Um, NCC Police. Well, Newcastle County. No, Newcastle Club. I feel like we're over here. I I'm not going to lie. I feel like we're in Australia right now. I, I don't really know why. Maybe that's a silly thing to say. There's a Newcastle, Australia. I've seen that quite a bit. I believe this is where we are. I believe we're in Newcastle, Australia. First look. This, to me, was said Australia. Okay, Newcastle. Yeah, Newcastle Beach and Ocean. Okay, there you go. Alcohol is, is prohibited in this area. I think this is Newcastle, Australia. So, we're going to go with that. A lot of places called Newcastle, I'm finding out. Although, I have seen this one before, too, I'm fairly certain. Um, so, yeah. Is there Newcastle in Australian Red Cross? Yep, that's good. So, we're there. Um, we can see this is probably, uh, this over here, so we probably find ourselves, uh, like right around there. I'm not gonna go much further into detail other than, uh, thinking that that's where we are. Indeed, very, very close. We were actually a little bit further. Uh, okay, so we got to, alright. Very, very close indeed. 64, 37 points. That's good. Which Newcastle is this? I was gonna say, I wonder if there's a Newcastle, Canada. Uh, 
Newcastle Baptist Church. Okay, to me that says we're probably in America. Uh, although, yeah, Newcastle, somewhere in America. Although this is a bit hard to tell. Um, lights, uh, street lights like this in Canada, you see them a lot in Quebec. You don't see them very much in Ontario, as far as I know. But I don't think we're um, NUBC, British Columbia, Canada. Maybe no Baptist Church. Fuck. Okay, I'm a fool. Don't worry about me. I'm just uh, you know just just going a little bit crazy here. Although this is still Canada, isn't it? Bell and Star Choice. All right, we are in Canada actually. All right, NU means something. Uh, we've got red license plates, which in this context, I think they are New Brunswick license plates and not Alberta plates. Is there a Newcastle, New Brunswick that I can see? I don't really know. Uh, Ross say no. I've, that, these are just places I'm naming that I know of. Uh, Moncton, no. Uh, I don't really. I've never heard of a Newcastle, New Brunswick. I'm going to be honest with you on that one. We could be in Alberta. I might just be seeing that wrong. Although it does kind of look like a New Brunswick plate to me. Uh, Bathurst. Newcastle. Ah, we found it. There you go. There is a Newcastle, New Brunswick. Oh, it's a very small town. Oh, wonderful. Look at that. Newcastle, Canada. Wow, that didn't take long to go to. All we needed to was, um, you know, for whatever reason, I just felt I just felt Canada here. It's a very lovely town. Let's go. Let's go give it a good look here. Uh, I've never been to this area of New Brunswick. I've never been up here. I've been all around. I've been this down area around here, uh, and then I've been to PEI and Nova Scotia, all around here. I've uh, never down in this sort of lower area. I've taken this highway and been again around here and uh, up into here. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Oh, Waterside Inn. It's it's nice here. It's, it's a strange part. It's a little bit inland, honestly. It's not really on the uh, it's not really on the the Gulf here, uh, which is a little bit sad. Econo Lodge. There you go. Okay, well, we now we see some good stuff. Canadian flag. Econo Lodge. Uh, Greco Pizza. There you go. Probably somewhere you can get some Donairs. I'm imagining Donairs is a big uh, things that are popular out um, out east. I know that, uh, I mean, they're pretty popular in all of Canada, except, you know, some places just go, they go by different names, and they're sort of different variations. Got a nice Tim Hortons over there. Again, my opinion on Tim Hortons, it's all right. It's all right for a lot of things. It's good. It's well-priced. I will give it that. But uh, quality, tis not. Value, it is. It is value. It's 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 value, and you know you're not gonna you're not gonna get anything terrible unless you are a big fan of particular coffees, in which case you might be dis uh, disappointed. But honestly, it's value. It's not bad. And if you're on the road, Tim Hortons is a great place to stop for lunch. Get yourself a coffee or whatever and a sandwich. You're not gonna be too disappointed, to be honest. We found it anyways. Newcastle. There you go. Sixty-four fifty-six. Newcastle. Another Newcastle in America this time. What state do I think it is? Oh, lordy, lordy. All right, interesting series of flags here, uh, which to me means that we are going to be in. I'm shaking my hand and sort of looking up, uh, up diagonally as if I'm sort of making a psychic premonition here. We are going to be in... Oh, I can't do it. Uh, uh, Maryland. All right, now let's go look around and, and see if we can find out. So what kind of flags do we got here? It looks like we've got, uh, well, America, UK, uh, Netherlands, I, I think, and Sweden? Well, that's a strange combination, honestly. Yeah, the red first is Netherlands, right? Yeah, okay. I believe that to be so, and I'm very sorry if I'm wrong. Sweden, that's... Seems a bit off-colored, but these flags have probably seen better days. Uh, they seem to be... Oh, wow, okay. They're really going with that theme everywhere, aren't they? This is an open flag, which, you know, there you go. That's a standard open flag. You see a lot of those a lot of places. And, uh, again, I, I don't... This is something significant about this location, but I just really don't know what it is. The, the Sweden part's kind of throwing me off a little bit here, honestly. Oh, there you go. These are 
colors I would more uh, imagine to see. Oh my god, look at that. We've got like Finland and, and Belgium in here as well. Wow. Oh, is this that? There was that one weird place that we saw one time. Was it in, like, was it in Pennsylvania that we saw that one time? Oh, we got a straight up England flag and then a ooh, Scotland flag. Okay, thank God. Remember that now. My God, lots of lots of European flags in this area. It was was it in California or was it in? Okay, let's look at the license plates. These look like Jersey plates, actually. So we in New Jersey. All right, New Jersey doesn't sound bad, actually. It's the right part of the world, I think. So we're in we're somewhere in New Jersey, I think. Um. Oh, okay. Hold on. There's actually some little something in the middle of that flag, which just raises. Oh, lordy. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, I don't want to see any of this blurry nonsense. Oh, please bring me back on track. Oh my God, are we stuck in the land of old? Oh, thank God we're back. All right, well, New Jersey sounds right. We're just going to go with uh, New Jersey on this one, I guess. Somewhere in New Jersey. Where in New Jersey? Let's go Let's go find names. Uh, New Jersey, and it's going to be... Um, not it. It's not any... Not, no, not Newark. Um, Freehold Township. That seems like a place that would do this kind of stuff, right? Freehold Township. Feels about right to me. Freehold Township, New Jersey, to me, feels like a place that would do this kind of stuff. So, let's make the guess. Oh, that's right. Newcastle. Doi. <laughs> oh, God. I'm a, I'm a fool. I forgot the theme of the challenge. Uh, What state are we even in? Delaware. All right. Delaware. Where did New Jersey end? God, I don't even know. Atlantic City. That's New Jersey. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, there's something here. It's Delaware. Oh, New Jersey's here. Oh, wow. Delaware has the entire river. How did they con themselves into that deal? Something must have happened. Look at that. They got, like, wow, no shore. The moment you jump in the water. Wow, what weird state lines these are. Is this little, is this shore right here really part of, wow, that is some wacky stuff right there. How did that happen? Usually, things go right down the middle. Well... You know, we that I I don't know what Delaware plates look like. I'll be honest. Delaware is a weird shaped state. I'll give it that much. Thirty forty five. Wrong state. Forgot the theme. My bad. Thirty forty five. Voila. Okay. Well, where are we right now? Uh, again, this might be North America. Looking at it uh, right off. Oh no. Whew, boy. Okay, that was the wrong one. Scorpion legal protection. Wow. That's pretty cool. I mean. The big name in shoes, Franco Saccato, Roma. It's the big name in shoes, I guess. So we are in uh, the UK, I believe. Newcastle. Um, okay, Newcastle, that's good. But telephone, oh, okay, the phone numbers uh, are that. See, I guess I must have looked at the phone number wrong. Yeah, was the phone number really, hey, look at that. This phone number is ordered in it. The numbers are set up North American style, but these ones aren't. Man, these ones definitely aren't. These are what I usually expect to see things. My God, there's a lot of confusion in how to order telephone numbers. No consistency, right? Can someone from, uh, can someone from the UK enlighten me about this? How uh, there seems to be, at least at this point, no consistency in where the dash goes or where the separation of numbers go in these phone numbers. I mean, that is some wild stuff right there. So I'm guessing we're in the UK at this point. This seems like a nice place. Um, I mean, there's water near Newcastle. It, the, at least the one I'm thinking of, right? Mountains? Oh, yeah, we're near Scotland. Okay, that makes sense. Um, we're not in Scotland, right? I haven't been a, a fool. No, we're not. Uh, we're this Newcastle, right? This is the one I'm probably imagining. I'd say so. I'd say so. Unless there's another Newcastle that I would be normally thinking of. Eh, this is... It's hard to tell if this is really the UK, honestly. It might not be. I might be wrong. Newcastle... Ah, uh, maybe this isn't. Maybe I've been just imagining European plates all this time. Have I? Because in the UK, there's a lot of yellow plates, and there's none here. And 
Aleph Street, MSC College. God, I'm starting to really think... Oh, man, have I been imagining all these plates have... No, they, none of them have the blue stuff on them. What? Come on, bring me back over there. What is going on here? Have I been imagining those that blue, the blue mark and just imagining these were European plates all this time? Oh, wow, went crazy here. Sorry, uh, people from the UK, how I asked you about your inconsistent phone numbers. I think we're not in the UK at all. We're in South Africa, aren't we? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, if any South Africans are watching, can you enlighten me on the inconsistency in the phone numbers? Uh, because uh, ah, that, that is still very puzzling. Um, major inconsistencies there. But yeah, I dreamt the blue tinge. My god, I'm sorry. I just made that crap up in my mind, didn't I? I, uh, I made up that blue tinge. That is weird. I must be suffering from some kind of, uh, I don't know, something serious, I guess. Newcastle, here we are. Beautiful, beautiful. Newcastle, South Africa. Newcastle, CBD, probably near that. There you go, 6476. All right, this is the Newcastle I'm imagining. This is the one I've been imagining. Oh, wow, what a nice place this is. Best Newcastle. I mean, Newcastle, Australia is pretty darn nice, too. But, uh, gotta say, this Newcastle, this is the one. This is the good one. So, this this is the nice Newcastle, I'm imagining. Wow, look at this place. I mean, come on. Newcastle, Australia was pretty sweet. Newcastle, Delaware was pretty sweet, too. In fact, I really... Oh, wow, wow, we wow. Look at this place. It's got an arch. It's got this... It's got this cool thing. It's got everything. Newcastle's pretty sweet. My God. No wonder I've heard of it. <laughs> no wonder this is the one I've heard of. Look at it. It's beautiful. What a wonderful city this is. I like it a lot. Anyone live here? I'd, I'd like to move here. This would be pretty sweet. I must I must say, I, I become, I'm becoming a big fan. I'm imagining it's this one, right? It's the one I've heard of. Probably. I hope so. Because it's really nice. It's a really nice place. Wow, look at that. Everyone's driving shiny cars, too. No need for... Look at that. Everyone... Well, I mean, these cars are less shiny than the ones we saw before. But they're still pretty darn good. So, other routes. M7. Uh, yeah, M167. City Center. Sure, we're probably on... That's this route. So, we're probably somewhere around, like... Like there? On this route? Near the roundabout, probably? Or, like, we were, like, right there. That's where I'm going to say we are. My God, what a beautiful place this is. Oh, we're going to go in a tunnel. I don't want to go. Oh, good. We're out of the tunnel. Wow. I like this city a whole lot. This is a really nice city. This is the kind of city that I, I thought it said office toilets, and I was going to laugh, but, you know, I have an immature sense of humor. This is the kind of city I would like to live in. I've got to say, it's very beautiful, and it, you know... I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Newcastle. I like it. Is it a nice place to live? Is someone tell me why wouldn't I, why shouldn't I live here? Give me some reasons I shouldn't live here. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why I shouldn't. And spoiler alert: I never will live here unless some sort of crazy twist of fate happens. Uh, but it looks like a great place just on the surface. Again, I should probably be careful because a lot of the places that I say just looking at them look great. Sometimes uh, it's got a little bit of uh, shady business going on underneath. So maybe Newcastle isn't so great. Let's give that thing. Newcastle, you're probably not as great as I think you are. But you do look quite nice. So we're going to make a guess as to where we think we are. We are indeed there. 6411. Very nice. Except for the Delaware one where I forgot the theme was Newcastle. There we are. There's Newcastle. 6411. Good, good points. Here's uh, where we got 28 to 825. If I remember Newcastle was the theme, I might have found it. I might have found it. Honestly, I might not have found it. Uh, honestly, I might not have found that. New Jersey was a pretty good guess. It was Delaware. I don't know what delaware license plates look like, but there was a Newcastle, New Brunswick, Newcastle, Delaware, Newcastle in the UK, Newcastle, South Africa, and Newcastle, Australia. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys tomorrow for more hot GeoGuessr action. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up. Look at the screen and repeat. 
gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.